What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. Hope things are going well for you. I am doing a song I've been wanting to do for a long, long time, and I finally found the right version of this song. Uh, it's Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here, but this is David Gilmour doing an acoustic rendition of it. And this has been, for 40 years, arguably my favorite song. It's one of them. It's hard to pick one when you've heard tens of thousands of songs in your lifetime. But this song, I don't know, is even like the night my grandfather passed away. I think I was 18 years old when I got the phone call and I was hanging with a buddy of mine and a couple of girls. And I got the phone call that he had passed away. And then I was listening to this song later that night. But I don't know the acoustic version of it. I just, when I saw that David Gilmour had done an acoustic version of it, I'm like, this is going to be the one. Because even if I had done it with Pink Floyd's, you know, their full original version, it was still going to go into my Country Heart series. So I'm guessing an acoustic version will even more so fit into that. So this will go on the playlist called my Country Heart series. It wasn't marketed as country, but this song has that country deep home feel to it. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know when this was done. So, so you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field From a cold steel rail A smile from a veil Do you think you can tell they get you to train Your heroes for ghosts Hot ashes for trees Hot every cool breeze Cold comfort for change Did you exchange A walk on piles in the wall I just paused. I didn't realize that I and I'm happy to see this. He's got more than just him playing acoustically. The contrast going on in the lyrics still after 40 years of listening to the song, it still draws me in to try to get the richness, the texture, the fullness, the additional inflow of realization what, uh, that are contained in these lyrics, as well as rule out prior understandings that I thought I had of what it might mean. It's just the fun of words. The backing guitar.
think this is for Sid Barrett, former member of the band. To have been there, I wonder when they're performing, you know, I mean, the, the pandemic shut everything down, but that one line in there struck me this time about, you know, running over the same old fears, like, but have we found, no, but have we found, running over the same old ground, but have we found the same old fears? It's like, as life progresses, do our fears change? You know, the philosopher, thinker, whatever in me, as well as in many people, you know, ponders that kind of line, like through the course of life, do our fears change? The ones we get from a young age, do they change? I think they do, but it takes that conscious effort. Oh, man, I don't know. That's just, I'm just going to leave that one be. I had originally slated this to do a reaction with a friend of mine. Her name's Denise, and uh, but she's a busy, she's a busy girl. And uh, my schedule has varied and so forth. But nonetheless, shout out to you, Denise, should you see this. But this, the, I mean, Pink Floyd, I mean, what do you say? They're just one of the consummate best bands of all time, any genre, hand, hands down. And to see that, you know, we had this instrumentation done to this song. What do you say? I mean, I just, I don't rate my country heart series. I just leave it be and let you guys comment on it. So anyway, guys, that's it. David Gilmore and company doing Wish You Were Here. What a song. One of the best and maybe the best in my estimation of all time. There it is. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country and songs with a country heart.